What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing how to obtain Shaman and Darkrai in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It only takes a second of your guys' time and we have plenty of brand new content coming along the way. But before we can actually catch both these two amazing legendary or mythical Pokemon, I really do not know which ones they are but there are two prerequisites for it one is you're gonna have to beat the main game the credits are gonna have to be rolling you got to finish all that and then the second prerequisite is for shaman you're gonna have to have a save file in let's go pikachu or let's go eevee and for dark right you're gonna have to have a save file in brilliant diamond or shining pearl so if you guys have both of them you can actually obtain the quest once you beat on the main story so from there you want to head over into the little jubilee city lobby whatever places is the main area and head over to the quest board and over at the quest board, once you defeat the game and have the save files in both those games, you can scroll down and find both of those missions. And the first one is going to be the token of gratitude. That is going to be the shaming quest. And the second one is going to be, what was it? A gruesome nightmare or something like that. I got to pick it up. But we're going to pick up the uh, shaming one. And then we're going to go back to the board and go pick up the dark ride one, which is, uh, how do you say it? The dark some nightmare. The dark nightmare is going to be dark ride one and once you pick up the dark ride one a little cutscene is going to trigger then you know you're ready to go with that one but the shaman uh little cutscene doesn't trigger until you head to the obsidian field ends where you can start that quest so kale's going to come over here he's going to talk about a scary little pokemon and it is over at the clamber claw cliffs in mount coronet so in the uh coronet highlands there is a little area called the clamber claw cliffs and if you head over there that's how you can trigger the dark ride little cutscene and catch that pokemon but First Pokemon that I want to head to is Shaman. Shaman, I don't know which one I like more than him. I do not know which one I like more. Shaman or Darkrai. They're both really, really cool. They both are totally different, but cool all around. But some items that I actually like to bring with me for these little quests is going to be obviously Pokeballs to so catch them. And I like to bring Smoke Bombs and uh, Sticky Globs alongside with Stealth Sprays. I think all three of them will, will work really, really well and help you catch these Pokemon. But let's go catch Shaman first. And Shaman is located in the Obsidian Field Land. So we're going to head over here to the Field Lands camp. And we're going to head to an area that we could have, that we went to like right in the beginning of the game. Right in the beginning of the game, you could have went here, but we can backtrack now and actually get this. I am going to actually sleep till uh, daytime because, like, you know, Shaman is where it's at in the daytime. So I'm not going to catch Shaman in the dark time. That's definitely a dark right kind of thing. We're going to catch this lovely little flower Pokemon in the daytime. So now that we're at the Obsidian Field Lands, we got the daytime rolling. We're going to come over here, and I think her name is, uh, I forget her name. But we got a little character right here, and I actually have to uh, put the quest on. I did not even do that. Come on, Jeans, you're better than that. I'm going to uh, put the quest on, go over to request, go to a token of gratitude, lock it in here, and make sure we're flagged up. So once you get flagged up, you can actually talk to her. It's going to tell you to go talk to Medi over here. She's going to be like, bibbidi bobbidi boo bobbidi you must be Jeans, right? I saw this Pokemon. She saved my life one time over in a little flower field. So she's asking you to help her find a little flower field. And if you guys remember, if you guys traverse through the Obsidian Field Lands, there is a flower field. But it is all dead over near the uh, Lake Viridi. Is it Lake Viridi? One of the lakes. But she hands me a Gracidia, which is Shaman's flower. So now that we got that flower, we can actually go head over there and go get Shaman. So from here, if you talk to Medi over there, you can actually go to your map. And if you zoom down here, you got the Florio Gardens. And this is exactly where we're going to want to go. So I'm going to flag it up here. I'm going to take my lovely little Braviary bird. I'm going to fly right on over there. Let's get it, baby. Legit, you can just hop on Braviary and go from here. Hold down that B button and just get grooving. So we're going to make our way over to these gardens over here. Like I said, there is a dead fire patch. So you guys probably saw before and wondering like, yo, why is this thing dead? There's got to be something that goes on here. And this is exactly what happens with the dead fire patch. So once we make our way over here, a nice little cutscene is going to trigger. Medi's going to come over here. He's going to be like, hey, yo, jeans. What's up? You found a fire patch. I'm like, yes, sir. So she comes over here. She's like, yes, this is the exact fire patch where I saw the Pokemon that saved my life before. And I forget. She does something crazy. You guys will see in a second and she blooms the flowers making it back flourishing which is absolutely amazing but both these quests are really really easy to do they honestly are super super easy but i think they're very very cool uh, they at least gave us a quest and you didn't just like go catch them real quick so once you talk to her once you bring her to the field lands like i said she's going to bloom all the flowers or like shaman's going to appear into the flowers and he's going to bloom himself so shaman comes running out of the flowers and look at this pokemon so adorable i absolutely love it I love it. Makes this little sound, sticks out its little flowers, and now you can legit just go straight up and catch it. So you, there's two ways you can catch it. You can obviously battle it like normal Pokemon, throw your Pokemon out there, chip them up, and then catch them with a Pokeball. But Shaman's rather easy. He's not that aggressive. He won't really fight you too much. So if you just go in there and hit him with a back shot, you'll catch him pretty easily. You will catch him easily. So in order to finish the quest, just catch the Pokemon. So where is Shaman at? Where is he at? 
Oh, there he is. He's just blended in with the flowers. So I'm gonna bring out my Ultra Balls. Where are my Ultra Balls at? Where are my, do I not have any Ultra Balls? I do, I have 17. Well, hi Shaman, how you doing? Throw a Pokeball at him and let's see if we can catch a first try. That would be amazing. Catch it, please. Nope, we do not catch Shaman. Where you going, buddy? Where you going, buddy? And he's gonna attack, but you can just constantly keep on hitting him. And I, I kind of want to try to get behind him to get a sneak shot on him. But he's gonna pop out again. He's gonna run again. And I'm gonna throw another Pokeball at him. Let's see if we can catch him. <laughs> so we're trying again. Third time's trying, baby. So legit, you can just keep throwing Pokeballs at him. He's gonna pop out. He's gonna keep running around. Bang. Another Pokeball. Can I get a back shot on this thing? Try to get close enough where I can hit him with a back shot. Catch him, please. Nope, pop that again, and he's gonna run, and this beautify is going to smoke me. I'm gonna throw another Pokemon at him, and we're just gonna constantly rinse repeat until we get it. This goddamn beautify leaves me alone. And there it is. Shaman, super, super easy to catch. Will not really be too aggressive with you. You can he can see you. You can constantly just keep throwing Pokeballs at him. But that's not the thing for what's it called. For Darkrai, it's a totally different story. So there it is. Shaman's done. A token of gratitude quest done. Now let's head over to the Coronet Highlands and get started with the Darkrai quest. Now that we made it to the Coronet Highlands, it is now time to catch ourselves Dark Ride. Well, look at this, we got our little Shaman. And one thing I forgot to mention with Shaman is if you go into your items now, I think it is in your key items, and you go all the way down, you have the Gracidia in your items. You can actually give this to Shaman and change him into his Sky form. So if you guys want to change him into the Sky form, give him the Gracidia and he will actually change to that form, which is really, really cool. But one little prerequisite for this little Dark Ride quest, you want to go to bed and you want to make it nighttime. Dark Ride will only spawn in the nighttime, so make sure you guys go to bed. Make sure you guys make it night when you guys get to this area. And then from here, we want to go to the Clamber Claw Cliffs, and I will actually pin it on the map just so you guys know exactly where to go. It is right over here. Here's the cliffs, and you want to head right here. And it's actually, if you have the uh, mission triggered, it's going to actually leave a little marker there. So that is exactly where we want to go. I'm going to take my little bird, Braviary, and we are going to get moving over. Braviary is where it's at. I'm actually so stoked that, uh, that they put a Pokemon like this in the game. It's just amazing all around. It really is. It really is. But I wish you could fly up. But it, it would make it really broken if you could fly up. It honestly would. But it still doesn't work. Considering it gets a nice little updraft from here. We can just kind of hit it every single time. And just get grooving from there. So now that we take Brave Ari, we're going to head over here. And this is going to be the Pokemon that you're going to want your uh, little stealth sprays for. And your smoke bombs. Because this Pokemon is super aggressive and is a big pain to catch. It really is a big pain to catch. Once you head over here in the nighttime, uh, this cutscene will trigger. So you just hop down here, and this cutscene's pretty cool because Dark Ride looks so sick in this game. He looks so sick. His animation's really cool, and his uh, his graphics just look amazing. I really do think he's a really cool Pokemon. But you see him lurking in the background over there. He's chirping around. He's going here, and now we're going to get a good look at this Pokemon. Look at him up there, yo. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. Oh, dude, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. I'm so glad they put them in the game. So now we can catch Gar Dark Rai at the Clamber Call Cliffs. And from here, he is very, very aggressive. If you walk inside that circle, it will do damage, and I think it might put you to sleep. But he will constantly attack you, he will constantly do work on you, and he is so hard to catch. So from here, you're kind of just wanna, gonna wanna keep running around until you get a chance to kind of just like get some free space. Once you get the free space, you can get more. And do I have my stealth sprays on me? Did I not bring my stealth sprays? I don't think I brought my stealth sprays. Hopefully the smoke bombs will work. But you know, from here, I'm just gonna toss a smoke bomb. Where do you spawn? Where does dude go? Where'd my dude go? There he is. He's over here. I'm going to drop this little smoke bomb here. And we're going to see if we can hide inside of it. And once he's not able to see you, then you can kind of like go up there and catch him. You know, he's going to come closer to me. I don't think he sees me. And we're going to try to catch him. Come on, yo. Get a little closer, Dark Rye. Get a little closer. Let's see if we can smoke him from here. Oh, he dipped. He dipped. Because he sees me. Because he sees me. I do not have my smoke spray. I do not have my spray. I might have to get the spray. So... Go up to him and try to throw Pokeballs. Again, he's going to dip. He's going to keep dipping. And he's going to keep dip dipping. Even if you throw like a regular Pokemon at him. So, like I said, the Stealth Sprays and the Smoke Bombs are definitely where it's at. So let's go here. We'll try to throw another Pokeball at him. And he's going to dip. I'm going to throw out my Smoke Bomb. And hopefully he doesn't see me here. And hopefully he can walk up close to me and we kind of get rolling. So we'll try this out. We'll try this out. Hopefully we'll be fine. But if not, we definitely need our Stealth Spray. So let's see if he'll come after me. Do I have any Jet Balls actually reaching from here? We do. We do indeed have some Jet Balls. Of course, I miss him. He's dipping. He is dipping. He is dipping. So, you know what? I'm going to go grab some stealth sprays. We definitely need them. So, guys, I made my way back to Dark Rite and we got some stealth sprays. So, let's get them rolling. Let's send them up here. And so, now that we are stealthy, I can throw throw down a smoke bomb. We can go up, be distracted from this lovely little Dark Rite, and hit him with a few jet balls and get rolling. So, where are my smoke bombs at? I'm going to drop one here. We are stealth sprayed. We got smoke bombs out. And up here, I'm going to pull out my jet ball and try to smoke this dude right in the face. 
Come here. Come here. And he's going to dip out the way. He's going to dip out the way. And we're waiting for him to not see me. So where is he at? So we should be able to move around. I should just be able to chill inside this little smoke spray. And we should be thriving here. So he's chilling here. He does not have the eye on us. Hopefully, he'll move kind of closer to us. And we'll be able to smoke him in the face. But I think we can't hit him while that purple thing is in. And of course, my smoke bomb goes away. God dang it, dude. My smoke bomb goes away. We're going to drop another one down here. We should be thriving with this one. So we smoke spray out. He is going to be chilling there. I'm going to throw another smoke bomb. And you know what? I'm going to send a nice, lovely another smoke or stealth spray just in case this one is going to run out soon so we're going to use that i'm going to throw another smoke bomb because i got plenty of them and we're going to try to move closer to this thing no way you see me leave me alone i'm dipping in the smoke spray i'm dipping i'm dipping can this thing move closer to me he's such a pain to catch such a pain to catch let's throw another one just in case he wants to do his thing and where are my jet balls at? jet balls how you doing so we got our jet balls ready to roll we can actually hit this thing i think we can hit him now let's try it and of course he hits me with this thing he hit me with the thing. God dang it. And I think maybe we have to get a back shot on him. We might have to get a back shot on him. I'm not too sure how this works. All I know is he is such a pain to catch. So where are my smoke bombs at? I'm going to throw another one down right here. And we're waiting for this dude. We're waiting for this dude to kind of move towards us. And we can smoke him with a back shot. Where are my jet balls at? Not the feather balls. We need jets. Jet balls, baby. Here are my jet balls. And we don't want to get hit by that. So where are my smoke bombs at? Give me this. I'm going to toss another one this way. Just so I can kind of curl out this way. And then wait for him to pop up again. Where'd he go, dude? He keeps dipping. He's over there now. He's over there. My stealth spray wears off. God dang it, dude. This is such a pain. This is such a pain. So we're going to go here. We're just going to wait for him to make a move. And let's see if we can hit him with a jet ball from here. And of course we miss. Oh, we actually hit him, I think. I think we hit him from deep. There it is. Now we can hit him now that we're chilling in the stealth spray. And hopefully that catches him. Oh, it did. Beautiful, yo. First try. That is how it's done. Like I said, yo, the stealth sprays alongside with the smoke bombs. Work perfectly. So once we do that, Kale's going to come up to us. He's going to make yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there it is. You guys complete the mission. You guys got Darkrai and Shaman. I should mention these Pokemon are shiny locked. So don't waste your guys' time grinding and soft resetting to try to get these guys to be shiny because they will never be shiny. But there you guys go. That is how you catch Darkrai and Shaman in Pokemon Legends Arcus. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's guide. If you guys did, make sure you smash like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys rock out. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.